It is national championship weekend. The Alabama Crimson Tide has rolled into town to take on the Clemson Tigers. And with that, a lot of fans are here too. Security, a top priority both on land and on the water. News Channel A's Chipposowski live at the convention center for us tonight where boats large and small are cruising into town. And I know folks are out there trying to keep everybody safe. You're absolutely right, Rod, and without all of those out-of-town boaters, law enforcement officers are out here on the water trying to make sure everyone stays safe. Deputy David Rigner has been patrolling the waters of Tampa Bay longer than he'd like to admit. His mission this weekend is an important one. Our main job here is to assist the Tampa Police Department in uh, just keeping the waterways safe, making sure, you know, people aren't aren't putting themselves in danger along the river walk or falling in. We're, we're, just, we're just here to keep an eye on things and, and keep everybody safe. Because all of the events surrounding the championship game are in Tampa, the city is taking the lead in coordinating enforcement. It opened the emergency operations center yesterday and an additional flash room aimed at getting first responders to emergencies as quickly as possible. It's TFR operations and flash stands for fire, life safety, and hazmat. Um, and what we're doing here is monitoring all of the, uh, with the major events, we're, we're taking care of all the suppression issues, the fire-related components that may happen. Oh, <laughs> He's got a Clemson jacket on. What's up with that? Deputy Rigner jokes he and his partner, a Temple Terrace police officer, often get mistaken for Clemson fans because their jackets are orange, but the two are equal opportunity enforcers. And in light of what happened in Fort Lauderdale, they know they need to be watching out for anything that doesn't look right. We're always looking for, for things out of place. Uh, we're always uh, encouraging people to come forward with any information if anybody gives them a kind of an eerie feeling. And that is something that when I spoke with Mayor Bob Buckhorn yesterday, he said everyone needs to keep their eyes open. If you see something, say something, contact your nearest law enforcement officer, even with hundreds of law enforcement officers out here, police officers, sheriff's deputies, even fish and wildlife we saw out here. They need to have all of our eyes and ears open as well. Rod, you are absolutely right about that. Chip Osowski reporting live for us tonight. Chip, thanks a bunch.